saying that gets my goat well here's something that gets my goat people that say they're Tennessee fans this woman was here earlier looking at my Tennessee stuff you know she picked a few things out asked me how much it were we got to talking about Tennessee football I said what do you think about them this year she said oh I quit pulling for them this year I said why she said because they're terrible my first thought was, lady, you ain't no fan. Take your ass somewhere else. People like that disgust me. Sure, she's a great person. Just a shitty fan. What a day yesterday in the SEC. Wow. Incredible. Tennessee knocks off SEC East Power Memphis. Good Lord. That was a powerful, powerful, powerful Memphis team that Tennessee knocked off last night, man. They were definitely headed for the national championship game, and we went into their house, a crowded, packed house of rowdy Memphis fans, over 90,000, and we took it to them. Tyler Bray, 700 yards in the first half, seven touchdowns, incredible performance, just unreal. I mean, the way he was just zipping balls all around, and beautiful touch, better than Manning. You know, he, he looked like he looked better than Manning last night. Peyton Manning, not Eli. He looked better than Peyton Manning. And I'm not talking about Peyton Manning that played at Tennessee. I'm talking about the Peyton Manning that won a Super Bowl. That's how good Tyler Bray looked last night. Where has he been all year? The, the offense was perfect. You know, uh, Torn Pool rushed for over 300 yards in the first half. Uh, the offensive line blocked beautiful. Pass coverage was impeccable. They gave up zero sacks, no penalties, no false starts, no negative yardage runs. It was just a dominating performance to knock Memphis off the top spot in the East. You, you got to be impressed with Derek Dooley and the whole entire Tennessee football team last night. They were 20-point underdogs. Nobody in the world gave them a chance to win that game last night. But they went in there with 37 freshmen, all starters, and just dominated the Memphis Tigers. This will probably ruin their whole season. And you know, I don't, I don't look for them to win another game this year. They'll be so devastated. Tennessee, three games left. We're going to go on a roll. You know, next up we've got the Ole Miss Rebels. Or wait a minute. We've got the Ole Miss Smoky Bears. They're first in the West right now. Uh, they're 13-0, and and we're going to dominate them. Tyler Bray is just incredible. The second coming of Johnny Unitas. I, I don't know. I Think of the best quarterback you could ever imagine. And... Tyler Bray is 20 times better. As a true freshman, with all true freshmen blocking, uh, Torin Poole's a freshman, Oku's a freshman, you know, a Stalker freshman. Our whole team is freshmen. And we just dominated that team last night. I can't get over it. Unbelievable. But anyway, Ole Miss, Smoky Bears, they lead the West. We got them next week. Then we'll be taking on Vanderbilt, and as you know, they're third right now in the East, uh, right behind us, right behind Memphis. You know, Memphis is second now since we knocked them off the top spot. We get the top spot now. Uh, Vanderbilt, we should be able to, it's at Vandy, so you know that that place will be packed. Well over 100,000 screaming Vandy fans. 
you know, they always bring it to the balls. They always bring their A game. And it'll be no different this year with them being ranked in the top five. You know. Uh, and then finally, we close out with Kentucky. You know, uh, we haven't beaten Kentucky in 25 years. Uh, they've got to come to our house. They've got to come to Mighty Neyland Stadium. And... You know, there'll probably only be twenty or 30,000 fans there, but they'll be pissed. Um, so Tennessee will close this season out and win their final three games and probably end up, I would guess, it'll be a toss-up between the Rose Bowl and the Orange Bowl. And the selection committee will probably choose the Orange Bowl because we're orange. In order for the BCS committee to really get a good... Uh, feel as to whether or not TCU is worthy of BCS status, they'll probably place the volunteers against TCU in the Orange Bowl. So you'll have the Orange Bowl and you'll have the Orange team facing the Purple team. And everybody knows that Orange is brighter than Purple. So there you go. This is why you guys come to BVD's channel. People come to my channel for insight, delivery, uh, and knowledge. I mean, it's, it's, it's just so apparent that I break it down and I tell it like it is. And you know when I'm talking that you're going to get the straight skinny on stuff because I'm skinny. There it is. Tennessee pounds Memphis last night, 72 to 3. Number one team in the East, and we went into a packed Liberty Bowl stadium, over 90,000, and we crushed them with our 37 freshmen. Can you imagine how good we're going to be next year? <laughs> wow. Anyway, guys, I'm out. I got to go watch my Cardinals destroy the Vikings. We're 42 point favorites today. We should be able to have this one in hand by the end of the first quarter. There's a finger for you, Brett. You decide which one it is. Hey, guess what, guys? BVD's making a freaking crow video. Imagine that. Jesus. RTL, Cattle Dog, Paul, all you guys, what's up with our defense? How the hell are you going to blow a two-touchdown lead with four less than four minutes left to go in the game, which incidentally I didn't get to see because my damn computer wouldn't, wouldn't pull the freaking game up, so I had to depend on the red zone. Oh, I had a chance, guys. I had a chance at a sweep for the first time this year. A high school victory, a Tennessee victory, and a Cardinals victory, but no, 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 no. Football gods denied once again. I said Favre's going to work his magic. You just know it. You just knew it was coming. And what happened? Favre worked his magic, and damn it, we went to overtime. So I said, if they win the toss, they win the game. Well, they didn't win the toss. We won the toss. But we got D.A. at quarterback. And everybody knows what D.A. stands for. Dumbass. Dick acceptor. Congratulations, Vikings. Congratulations, old man Favre. Uh, Adrian Peterson, they just ran it right down our ass. There were some other huge games in the SEC yesterday. Georgia got by uh, Northwestern Boise Technical Poly Institute, I think it was. 21-20. Uh, Auburn squeaked by Chattanooga. I think it was 7-6. to six. Uh, B.J. Coleman, former Tennessee volunteer, backup quarterback. Uh, I, I read the stats. He had 467 passing yards last night. But every time they would get down in the red zone, his running back would fumble. Um, you know, so tough break for B.J. last night. Uh, you know, Auburn pulls off the 7-6 to six win and keeps their championship hopes alive. Uh, Alabama-LSU, you know, it was a game so 
obviously dominated by Alabama. I can't believe LSU won that game. Alabama dominated every phase of that ball game. Coaching, uh, Nick Saban was definitely the superior coach. The trick plays, the fourth down calls. Uh, you know, he, he just, it, it, it's a no-brainer, you know. Uh, who else played yesterday? Oh, Florida. You know, Florida Florida got by Vandy 13-8. to Uh Tim Tebow had a really big game. I think he threw for 700 yards, but he had 14 picks. So, you know, that that kind of kind of makes his stats not look as good. Like the really big game last night. Woo, pig suey. Man, they went into a raucous williams Bryce Stadium, and it was evident that, that the Arkansas team couldn't handle the pressure of Sandstorm. You know, you could tell that Sandstorm was getting to him the way South Carolina was running up and down the field, scoring all night, throwing those passes. Um, I think the final was South Carolina 41, Arkansas 20. Uh, you know, South Carolina just, they, they destroyed him. We knew that was going to happen, though. Uh, so now Florida will play host South Carolina for 7th place and no 8th place in the SEC East uh, Alabama you know with their uh, with their win yesterday when the Iron Bowl rolls around you know it'll be 14-0 uh, Auburn versus a 32-1 Alabama team which Alabama with their brilliant coach will definitely win Cam Newton's got no shot, you know, getting any yards against that defense. It's not going to happen. Uh, it's the SEC, man. You know, it's it's the SEC. This is how we roll. When you see my face, it begins you hell, it begins you hell. When you walk my way, it begins you hell, it begins you hell. Where's your picket fence, love? And where's that shiny car?